We live in a world where not everyone has the freedom to do as they wish. Many people live in constant terror of the repercussions of being who they are. Being able to speak about poverty, we must first comprehend its causes and roots, although the causes of poverty vary. They all have similar effects on both individuals and society. According to studies, there are only a few causes, including population growth and corruption. The actual cause, however, is yet unknown. It has become into a terrible problem on a global scale. Each of the several causes of poverty requires a unique remedy, similar to today's reality. History in the majority of nations began with economic disparity. Countries that had been colonized and subjected to slavery struggled to end discrimination. Lack of bare minimum in terms of food and shelter is what is meant by poverty. When a person who is not necessarily in sexual manner is treated unfairly or negatively because of their gender. Discrimination based on sex, gender identity, or gender expression is included in this. It may result in less educational opportunities, a reduced social status, less autonomy over family and personal matters, and poorer pay for jobs and other labor they accomplish. Gender roles that have been socially created are to blame for this inequity. It occurs when a people of a particular gender is treated differently or less favorably than a person of the other gender is the same situation. This gender discrimination refers to the unequal and biased treatment of individuals on the basis of their gender. The biggest problem we're facing is that a lot of people still see gender inequality as everyone's issue. However, by gender we refer to all genders including male, female, transgender, and others. Usually characterized by the existence of unequal chances and drive for various social positions or status within a group or society. An ongoing tendency in workplaces is the unequal allocation of resources, wealth, opportunities, rewards, and punishments. Workers who eventually have the same labor productivity, aptitude, education, training, and experience as their equal counterparts are not treated equally in elements of employment, promotion, holidays, wage, and trainings which can be used to explain workplace inequality. An increase in income inequality tends to become entrenched in societies where opportunities are unequal, including across generations. This limits the potential and prospect of low-income earners and stifles long-term progress. Segregation by occupation at work is frequently associated with occupational inequality. 
the degree of occupational inequality increases with workplace segregation. This is especially true for jobs where a particular race or women predominate. Social inequality occurs when resources are dispersed unequally within a society, often as a result of norms of distribution that produce distinct patterns along lines of socially defined categories of people. Social inequality is typically thought of as the absence of result equality, but it may also be thought of as the absence of opportunity equality.